Hey everyone, let's unbox and have a look at the bricks and pieces in King Manifico's Castle by Lego Disney. This is set number 43224, contains 613 bricks, retail for $99.99, and this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And this is essentially what we're going to be unboxing today. It does look like it has some interesting pieces, but I don't know. And that's what it looks like on the back of the box. Well, I want to see exactly what's in one of these because sometimes Disney sets have some hidden gems in there. It depends on what kind of parts you're really into. A lot of good interior stuff, I can tell. So hopefully we'll be in for a treat. And we're going to look here and see what we have. I haven't done an unboxing like this in a while, so... But it depends on the order I'm releasing the videos. And... A bag three, a two, oh, we got a five there. Okay, I found the most important one. This is just a five bag set. Everything's individually bagged, that's good. And we got ourselves an envelope for the instructions. Let's open that up there. I saved these because they're good for storing all sorts of paperwork and stuff. And. Okay, and that's what we have there. Well, that's probably what they use for the roof. And there's a bunch of full print stickers. I can always use these. I, I have to go to hobby shops to actually get these for like mirrors, but they'll still be good for, for other things as well. And we got some building guides too. So we have five, and we have building guide four, three, and here's one and two right there. So I'm thinking these represent bags. I'm hoping this is a collaborative build too. Let's see if it shows it in the book. Let's take a look here. I will be building this on my second channel. No, it just jumps right on in. So that's not too bad. Well, what we're going to do right now we're going to start with bag one. Let's see what kind of goodies are in this bag. We obviously got a brick separator, of course. <laughs> and things may look a little different. I'm actually using a different type of light this time. So hopefully everything will be fine here. Okay, an 8x8 eight eight lattice plate. An 8x8, eight eight, what is that, um, medium nougat plate. Could use that for that campground. Well, we got a window frame. Oh, there's some glass that goes in there. Well, no, but we got the doors, and we already know that these are probably going to get stickered up. We already looked at the stickers. And I can always use uh, bluish green doors, but you know, we'll have to peel those off when I'm done. And this is printed. It's like part of Humpty Dumpty. Oh, that's part of a dress. Never mind. And 2 by 4 flat tile. Oh, a 2x4x2 two by by two half round wall element. Oh, let's not open that up. We'll go through this stuff here. We got some 1x3x4 win window elements and a brown left-handed car door. Uh, I've never seen those in round before. I've never owned one. Now I do. And a 1x1 one one brick with bow. Some 1x2 bricks. And we got some parts for the mini doll. There's the brick separator. There's a head. I'm not a big fan of mini dolls, but sometimes they're just cool to look at. And looks like we got ourselves a banana cream pie. We got some food in here, huh? And we got ourselves a wig. Not too bad. And some cupboard doors in sand yellow. We got plenty of two by four and two by six plates in sand yellows. Well, it's some one by two by two corner plates. And some 1x3 plates in that same color. Good. And we got some medium nougat 1x6 flat tiles and a white 1x6 flat tile. These are good for floorboards. I hope we find a few more. Then you got your usual 1x6 plates. And oh, we got some 1x1x1 one by one by one 2 bricks with the two studs. Sand green. Remember that tiny house? I was looking for these. Well, the set had already got some in there, so maybe that would be of good 
help. We got some inverted 45 degree slopes, one by two and two by two variants. One by six, or one by one by six rounded column bricks. Yeah, I kind of wish these things were just straight round and you could stack them on top. But two by two bricks and one by two technique bricks with two holes, one by one bricks, you know, and some of these here. I think that's the only one that's in there, a one by four by two thirds plate with bow. Like I said, the light's also going to be surged. We've get, we been getting a lot of power surges out here lately. I don't know. It's not a bad sign that my bulb's going bad, too. And one by one by two thirds plate with bow. So I've got a couple of those. One by one Technic bricks. Some black candlesticks. Oh, well, we get one. And. Some 1x2 black jumper plates, some of these cross connector things, like those are 3.2. And 1x2 plates, a 1x1 one one brick with cross hole. And some inverted 1x2 plates with 45 degree slope on them. As a matter of fact, I was working on a tutorial that needed these. And I didn't have them at the time. Matter of fact, they didn't come in this color. I don't think they did. Maybe I needed them in white. I can't remember, but, well, here they are. <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, no, I needed these in black. So, but they're, there they are. They also got some, some warm gold studs and one by two transparent orange plates, some Technic pins with cross axles, and, and a lot of small stuff in this bag. Let's see if there's any goodies in bag two. And so far, of all, I think we're going to get mostly is just tan stuff. And don't be rolling off there. Okay. We get plenty of one by eight flat tiles and sand yellow and brick yellow. Ooh, one by eight brick. Well, you don't really see those that much anymore, especially in Disney sets. Two by four, 45 degree slope. Some of these little pyramid slopes. These are two by two by two in bluish green. Oh, be great for uh, for like t toppers of roofs. And an inverted double outside corner, 45 degree slope. How many of those do we get in there? Just two. That's kind of depressing. Ooh, this is printed. That'd be great for like above a door or something. I thought that was stickered, but no, that's printed. 4x4 four four flat tile, guarantee this will probably get all defaced with stickers. You can always use those for other things. Oh, we know what will happen. I'll rip that off. And we got some 2x2 two two jumper plates and a modified 2x2 two two plate with two studs. 2x6 two brick. We got a, one of these 1x2x2 one, one by two by two column bricks. And some 1x2x1 one and 2 thirds brick with the four studs. If you saw that log cabin set, that's what they used. So if you're in, interested in facing off your buildings with uh, different types of materials like tiles and slopes, hoard these up. Really good for that. And these too. This is a 1x4 brick with four studs. And you can accompany these with these right here. Just to have a little bit of an offset on the bottom so you can have studs running up against your siding. And some... 4x4 four four tile with bow. Get a couple of those. And some of these 1x3 bricks with an inverted bow. I need to get more of those. Oh, these come in medium nougat too. So 1x1x1 one by one by one and 2 thirds brick with the two studs. Some you know, the heads always like to roll out of my hands. <laughs> so there's her head there. I don't know all the figures in that. I don't watch a whole lot of Disney movies. Sorry, folks. I'm into action-packed. Nice wig there. Oh, we got the torso and lower part. <laughs> okay. I know that's going to get a sticker as a 1x3x4 column brick. I don't mind if these get stickers. Wish I, I honestly wish these sets were printing because they would just get pretty much high scores. Let's just see how easy the stickers are to put on. We get some 1x2 bricks, 1x4 plates, some modified 1x4 plates with two studs, and some of these 4x4 inside round 
plates. Lego, can you make this into one of these? Seriously, you know, I, I need that, but no, not yet, apparently. We got a 1x6 arch. So I bet it goes like that and accompanies that, huh? Probably get some crazy, make some crazy windows with that idea. And we got some 2x2 two two round profile bricks with cross hole and some 1x2x5 one by by column bricks, some more of these 1x1x6 one by one by bricks, corner bricks, and some of these half arch pieces. 1x2, 45 degree slope, that's an inverted. And one by three bricks, and a one by two by two by four downwards angle plate. Break for vehicles. So far, I'm seeing some common parts, but these pieces I always use, so I mean, it's like a, this would be a good parts donor set, if not anything else. Well, let's see what we got in here. We got things rolling on the floor. That's yeah, nothing special, just a stud. Looks like you get a couple of those in there, and some of these half cut two by two flat tiles. One by one brick with one stud. And one of these candle holders or candlestick holder. One by two, one by three plates. Plenty of flames. And we got ourselves a transparent, clear, round one by one brick. Ooh. Upwards. Well, we got two upwards one by one by one by two angular plates. Jumper plates, one by one bricks. And we got ourselves a couple of one by two by two corner plates, a two by two rounded jumper plate. What else we got? Okay, number one, one by two rounded plate. And a transparent clear two by two parabola dish. Okay, I don't think I have a lot of these. Uh, one by four lightsaber swords or light swords. These are good for like making plants, like if you're in botanicals or something like that. That's what they're so pretty good for. One by one by two thirds cheese slopes. And, oh, wow, one by two ridge slope. These are kind of rare, especially in white. Ooh, are these printed? Oh, they are. They're like a metallic. Let's see if we can get a better look for you there. Those would make nice, um, like a tile pattern for like maybe a backsplash for a kitchen or something. How many of those do we get in there anyways? It's just two or no, there's three. Yeah, I get all excited when they're printed. Even if it's something I'll probably never use. Would you use those for a bedroom thing? Probably, I mean, it would be okay, like a comforter or something. But, well, that's it for bag two. Let's take a peek at bag three. And so far, I'm seeing a lot of common stuff. I mean, it's some good building bricks in these sets, but just stuff that it's not catching my eye yet. Well, I could always use some sand yellow for campgrounds or damp soil. 4x8 and 2x6 plates in that color. And, ooh, a barrel that's in sand blue. Okay, I don't, I don't have one of those in that color. That's pretty cool. Dark brown, 2x6 plate, 1x6 reddish brown, and some of these rounded, uh, what are this, 2x2x5 uh, two by two by quarter round wall elements. These are great for like rounding corners of buildings. You can do that. What do you do about the inside? You'll have a hole, but you know, good for outside corners. And a 4x6 plate, some 1x4 plates. Profile bricks with single groove or brick bricks. One by four by two bricks with arch. And a two by six medium nougat flat tile. Ooh, we get a loaf of bread in there too. Yummy, huh? Reminds me of the bread they use in Minecraft where Steve goes munch, 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 belch, and that's what he does. And we got a one by four profile brick in medium stone gray. Here's a hinge brick, one by eight brick. Wow, there's bricks in this set. I don't see those very often anymore. Depends on what set you're getting. 1x2x2 two two corner bricks and some 1x3 bricks. And 1x3 25 degree slope. You can always use those. What do you use tan for for roofing? You can mix it in and make it like slate roof or stone roof. It just depends on what your tastes are. And, and a 
one by two by three slope. Okay, maybe it's the 18 degrees that work with these. And a bright green two by six half round plate, one by six plate, and a uh, stick stud long stick with flange, one by two bricks with two studs, more of these one by four or one by one bricks with a bow, and a two by two corner angular brick, inverted two by two 45 degree slope. There's a one by two slope inverted and sand yellow. Now let's start opening this up. This one's actually got a little bit more color. So obviously we're making a tan little mini castle. You know, I mean, all right, I can always use these little one by one little stud flowers. And we got some ice cream toppers. This looks like we get the aqua blue and then the pink. Round one by one bricks. Uh, here's some of these. Uh, this is a one by two. Triple 45 degree slope, like an end, I don't know if it's an end gable. Could use that for a lot of things. There's another one of these bright green. This is a two by two by two thirds plate with bow. I can always use these leaf pieces, but bluish green, uh, not so much. And these would be good for like underwater themes or for decorative pieces for maybe for curtains for a house. You know, just do something like this and put a valance in the middle too. It would be pretty cool. And uh, and yeah, some of you like these unboxings because I got some good ideas. I see pieces like one by three plates. You could use these for anything, right? But these make good things for curtains. So I, you know, that's why I'm like get excited over stuff like that. And some of these, oh, these are one by one by two thirds pyramid slopes. In transparent light blue. What would you use those for? Gyms. Let's say you're building an underground cave or something. You could put these on the walls and look really good. Matter of fact, it's like a hollow something like this. Stick a Technic pin in there and just stick an LED in there. Like a light would look really good for all sorts of stuff. And of course we got some what's that dark pink studs. There's some more of these little ridge slopes here and little miniature frying pans. These are actually just one by one plates with stick, and those were in dark, or these are earth green. Okay, we got ourselves a paint roller, so we're going to be doing some chores around the castle. And one by two plates. We also got some white stud flowers. That's Lego's new version of flower, by the way, so we're going to get used to those. And I don't think I have any sand yellow two by two parabola dishes. Plus also you get some one by one bricks and one by one by two thirds slopes, Technic pins, all that stuff in there. And some one by three, number one, rounded plates. Lego, I need these in this color. Please provide those to me or make something, I'll buy a set and get them. I just need one in that color. I can't tell you what the build is because Competitors like snagging my ideas. I gotta be careful. Okay, well, we got a cake topper. So obviously, this is gonna be baking a cake. Here's uh, some parts probably for the cake dark pink. And we got ourselves a little broom. So I guess we're making a broom cake, huh? Those are always extra yummy. And some one by four. My two-thirds plate with bow. In fact, I have a tutorial that will be using these, but you won't see that for another year. And a leaf piece. Hey, these, these are kind of cool. These little one-by-two bricks with the uh, arch, half arches. One-by-two bricks with two studs. Some hinge bricks. One-by-two bricks. A one-by-two-by-two by two window element. Two by two rounded jumper plate. All right, let's take a peek in bag four. It looks like I see some goodies in there, or it could be a duplicate of bag three. This is a castle, so obviously we're going to be building towers and stuff. Well, there's slight differences. Let's take a look, and we have a two by four by six door frame. Now you see these in a lot of the kitty sets. What are these for? You've, you've seen me with the Michael Myers house. I would just 
face off the front here and put slopes. Works good right up against these. And you can have the door go all the way through. Or they make good refrigerators too. And there's a door that goes with this. So maybe that's what it is. Or it could be a safe. We don't know. And some more of these half round 2x2x5 two by two by wall elements. 1x8 brick. We've already seen all this stuff here. A 1x4x1 black lattice fence. And here we have a little titanium pot. Like a honey pot. Now I know that color, that's titanium. <laughs> and I've got ourselves a little pumpkin. I got a bunch of those. I'll have to maybe make a pumpkin patch. And two by six plates. We got a two by three plate. And some more of these 25 degree slopes or some profile bricks. And, hmm. 4x6 plate, and okay, a 1x3x3 arch, or a half arch, there's another one of these little 1x2x2 one by two by two wall element windows, hinges, profile bricks with single groove, yeah, well, we've already seen all that, huh? You get halfway through an unboxing, everything gets kind of the same, it depends, all right. I like to get more of these plant pieces in different shades. This is in bright green. It's the same green as this right here. And these are good for sticking like through those leaf elements. These are good for making trees. I think that's a 1.8 hole. You can stick accessories like butterflies and stuff like that on the front, on the top. That's what the holes are for. And frying pan. So we're obviously going to be cooking something. There's some more hinge pieces and another one of these little one by two bricks with the half arches and then one by two plates. Some of these decorative scrolly things on a one by one brick in medium nougat. I don't have these in that color, so that's kind of cool. Inverted one by two 45 degree slope. And some silver metallic studs. One by two by two corner plates, one by three plates. Now they use one by four by two thirds plate with bow. That bag just had common stuff I've seen. Just some of that stuff I could use. And here we are here. In this, this little bag in here. Okay. Two by two transparent orange jumper plates. <laughs> At first I thought those were just regular plates. I thought, cool. No, they're not. And we got some more of these transparent blue one by one by two thirds pyramid tiles. And another one of these little gabled in pieces or whatever those are. Um, round one by one bricks and medium nougat. And a little stud flower. Got the things. I'll show you here. You could shove these right in here like this. If these were different shades of green, of course. That's what you'd do. Pretty cool. And in addition, we get some one by one plates. We got a meat cleaver. Round one by one flat tiles that are just plain. Those would make good like cinnamon cookies or something if you want to make a little bakery. And some various Technic pins and stuff. So one of these little ridge tiles. Yeah. yeah, this one here just has some common stuff. Finally, we have bag five. Okay. I hope that's not a string or a cape, but I have a feeling it's going to be, but we'll take a look at that here in a second. Eight by eight, half round, medium nougat plates. Get a pair of those. And, all right. Oh, that's printed. It'd be great for like a tower, like a, if you're building like maybe a, a Middle Eastern building. Kind of reminds me of something you'd see in the Taj Mahal. Oh, we get two of them. Oh, wow. If we got four of those, it would even be better, huh? Well, we don't, so we'll just have to make do. And a flag piece. Looks like one of those hazard or slow tag. If that was yet orange, you could have gotten away with that, too. Oh, somebody's legs. There's a couple of book pieces in here. So you get a black book to make. I wonder if that's going to get defaced. 
two by four jumper plate and a four by four angler brick. And by the way, guys and gals, these videos are just meant for fun, so don't take them seriously, you know. Some have. And some three by three angler bricks. All right, rocker bearing plate. Plenty of transparent clear mini figureheads rolling around. Great for making water tanks. I have to do that too. Use those for some kind of water thing. One by four by one transparent blue wall element. We also get a tile that goes with it. Maybe there's gonna be water here with this. And a spear. Those things just like rolling around, huh? There's the torso. I don't think anybody really cares about the mini doll stuff. <laughs> Two by two with the one by two plate on the side. Plenty of rocker bearing stuff. And some one by two bricks with two studs. Another one of these. Two by two by two thirds plate the bow. 45 degree slope. Got a couple of one by twos. And some one by four flat tiles. Two by four plates. Some profile bricks and brick yellow. Oh, yeah. I mean. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's a cape. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, it's even better on the other side, huh? You know what? You guys and gals have been asking me, why don't I ever use these for shower curtains? Well, you know what? That'd make a great shower curtain right there. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. I've seen some shower curtains that they got the little stars and stuff. There you go, and just kind of put the undesirable side on the back side. Depends on how your preference is. Let me put that back in there for safekeeping. Hey, that's what we do. That's what I do here. I do complete unboxings. I don't just skimp on everything. We take a look at it all here. The ideas are an added bonus too. It's just to inspire you, the builders to come up with some creative stuff with all the parts here. And a one by two plate with ball joint and a brush back. That's a dark stone gray wig. I was hoping that'd be silver metallic. You know what? No, that's a, that's a quiff. I don't think I've ever seen a quiff before in Lego form. It's kind of spiky with the bangs up in the front. I don't know if I can just get that in medium nougat. And some half round one by two flat tiles. Another figureheads. Yeah, I may be taking that wig because my hair is starting to turn that color. And <laughs> one by two by two thirds uh, slopes. Some rocker bearing plates. I could use those. I got plenty of them in white, but for some reason, guys and gals, I never can find the colors that I need. So there they are. I don't know what colors I need, I just need to find them. I got a couple more of those. One by two plate with stick. And a one by two angular wedge plate with three studs and some jumper plates. And that's just a one by two flat tile. Now, for the assessment on the parts on this set, we're gonna just put all the bags on the table or we'll pretend to. And what I'm going to just tell you is I see a bunch of common parts, some unique pieces in here, but mostly common stuff. But this set does have some building bricks, it has some plates, stuff that is very common stuff, very basic stuff. A lot of the pieces out of this set here I could use. So this set looks promising for mock building, and I'm not going to be disappointed. Now, this set does retail for $99.99. I really don't see it in the parts. So if you're looking for the set as a parts pack, uh, it's it's a bit pricey for 613 bricks. You may want to wait for it to come on sale a bit if you're going to use it for parts packs. But I'm sure for a Disney enthusiast or somebody who's in the Disney magic theme, it would be a pretty good set to snag up. But for me personally, it's not a bad set of parts, but tell me what you think.